Hey guys, what's going on? It's Hapskeeve22. This is episode 28. And so, well, basically, uh, after that loss at Liverpool, uh, after our amazing run in this uh, period here, uh, between December and January, pretty much January, I guess. Um, actually, no, it's pretty much, yeah, pretty much January. Uh, we got two results. So, we we technically lost to Fulham, uh, but we won the tie for all 4-2 on aggregate. And we also beat Preston 2-0. Uh, this was in the League Cup semi-final second leg, um, as you can see. Uh, hence why we won 4-2 on aggregate. Um, there it's 2-0 uh, when we playing... Uh, a bit of a weak inside. I decided to have a little bit of test with the attacking players like Daniels. You can see they're one of the most promising young players we have in our youth system at the moment. Uh, and then against Preston, we played a slightly stronger team, but uh, a team well capable of beating them. Look at that. I, I haven't seen these highlights either. So it's a it's an own goal from Otten, uh, Ottomendi. A very strange own goal at that. Uh, Murphy scores a penalty. Um, we're not even going to look at that penalty. But who cares? It's a penalty nonetheless. And we beat Preston, and the man of the match was picked up here by Theo Walcott. Uh, Yaya Sonoga also getting on the score sheet, and he's keeping up a, uh, I would want, I would say a fantastic, but a really good goal-scoring record since, be well, when I put him into the side. He, he scores a few goals now and then, which is pretty nice to see. Sonoga with a great ball there, so he's got an assist and a goal. Um, Sonoga, but maybe Walcott's got a goal and an assist also. But, that's uh why does it drag out the fucking highlight? McLean, is that the, um... <clears throat> actually, no, he's a centre-back, it can't be. I was thinking if that was the Sunderland winger. He's a good player, he is, though, James McLean. Oh, oh wait, Sonogo scores. <laughs> I thought Walcott... I was expecting Walcott to score there for some reason, but... Uh, I don't think Walcott gets that assist, technically. But, oh, well. There's been a lot of said in the inbox as well. Let's have a look. Testegan also made his debut. That was another thing. Um, we're going to call him Mark. Actually, we're going to call him Testegan. Uh, but Mark, <laughs> uh, we lost to Fulham in another competition. I had to register players for the Premier League. Oh, manager of the month goes to David um, Harry Redknapp, then David Moyes, and then I completed the top three. As it says, there, the English goal of the wall goes to Musa Sal. Can't even be asked to watch him. Wilshire wins young player of the month. Woo, because it's not often in this game that your players win player of the month, even if you do, if your team is the best. But um, this should be here we go, English roundup. Um, Man City bought Ericsson, 16.25 million. Chelsea biggest spenders. Ashley Young went from Man U to Chelsea. Uh, we bought uh, Axel Witzel. And we also sold Mikel Arteta to Inter Milan. Transfer deadline day, not much, not nothing happened. Uh, we're playing Tottenham in the final uh, in the League Cup. So that is going to be interesting. Uh, Sunday the 3rd of March. That's a quite an awkward... Or, or, uh, awkward? Odd date, sorry, for the League Cup, because it's normally played at the end of February. So that's a bit, um... <laughs> I've gone up in reputation with, uh... <laughs> with, um... Martin Yoll. Anything else? No, nothing else. I don't think there's much else to bring you. So we have got Burnley in the Premier League. Can we... Can can we get a run of it now? Can, uh, can I win against Preston after a two-game uh, lost streak? Can we get back onto, uh onto free goal scoring form so I'll see you guys for that you're probably expecting the Burnley game but instead you're gonna get the uh, the fifth round FA Cup draw so I like to bring you these Chelsea will play West Ham Ipswich or Leicester will play Coventry we've been drawn against Brighton which is not the hardest of ties um, in comparison to maybe getting Manchester City Tottenham Liverpool etc etc or even Chelsea for that matter but um, we are away, so again, that's one difficulty we have to overcome, and that does take effect in this game, um, unless the other team flop really, really badly. So we have got Brighton in the fifth round of the FA Cup. We will expect, we probably will be expected to advance into the quarterfinals, but uh, again, we have to play the games, and uh, the results do all the talking. So we're going to go to Burnley now. Hopefully, if there's nothing else important to bring you, but. Uh, Hey guys and welcome uh, to the Burnley game. Uh, we are at the Emirates. Hang on, let's adjust the mic. So, uh, Testegan gets his first start in the Premier League, the number 69 there. Um, didn't know what other number to give him. Null gets uh, the right back slot because Sanya got a little bit of a knock last game. Jose and Gale on the left. Cristiano Otamendi is pretty much a second string back four at the moment. Uh, Coquelin holding. Song is now back from African Cup of Nations, so we can use him, but he's on the bench. Sven Bender, also on the bench. 
Wilshire and Ganzo creating the uh, the chances today. Had the choice between Ganzo and Witzel. You are probably going to be like, what the fuck are you doing, you stupid prick? Play the better player, but let's try and get Ganzo some confidence and let's spur him on a little bit. Delafue on the right. Going to have to put some trust into him in the next upcoming seasons. Walker on the left. He's been playing pretty well in the last couple of games. And the big man up top, Edison Cavani. Looking at their team then, they've got Snodgrass, who's a really good player. I think he currently plays for Leeds, and I think he wanted a transfer or something. And Jay Rodriguez, who's also a very good finisher. And in this episode, we've got a lot to talk about. A lot of stuff has happened. And for one, you're probably thinking, oh, there we go. It's a beautiful start to the game. A minute 50 seconds in, within the second minute, Wilshire scores a fucking pe uh, a free kick and a half. Just guided that one into that top corner. No stress about it whatsoever. Absolutely beautiful. And also Cavani's learned how to place his shots into the corner. So the biggest one, Fabio Capello resigns as England manager. We'll get onto that a little bit later. This is sounding a little bit like Sunday supplement. <laughs> if you've ever seen that on Sky Sports. Go on, Cavani. Oh. But the first thing I want to get into is to the new subs. Now, I'm not going to give the new subs all the credit for this, but I, 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 I have to assume that you were uh, part of it as well. Last video I did against Liverpool has only received, what, 175 views at the moment, which normally I get around 200 to 300. Oh, Cavani's got a score and he does. It's 2-0. And, um, yeah, so I normally get around 200 to 300 views and 175, and I'm already on 30 something, 34 likes, I think, on one dislike, which is absolutely phenomenal. You guys are fucking legend. There we go, Ganzo. Absolutely beautiful ball from him. First time pass into the feet, in behind. What a goal. So, um, yeah, <laughs> you lot are all legends. Like, the new subs as well, obviously, I, I assume some of you must have clicked that like button. If you do, uh, remember to click the like button on this video. It absolutely helps the, uh, the channel to grow. And uh, I just love the feedback because uh, it just spurs me on to make more and better videos for you guys. So, uh, thanks a lot for that. Um, and, yeah, 30 something likes. I only asked for 20 as well, which is why it's even more surprising. So I got around to 34 likes or whatever. And I think the most liked video I've ever had uh, was had 33 likes and one dislike, which is the first ever video I made on Football Manager 2012 on the demo. That was the first video I ever made. And um, that got 34, 33 likes and one dislike. This got 30, this got more, I know it got more likes and uh, it also got one dislike, but Flipping out, that is wicked, and <laughs> it just helps my channel grow, really, and oh, I can't thank you enough. Jose Angel going for the goal. He got three goals in ten minutes, so we're looking pretty comfortable at the moment, and uh, deservedly so. Well, not deservedly so. She's probably been awful defending from, from Burnley. Oh, Cavani, look at that. He just, walk, just strolls past a defender, picks the gap, and unfortunately can't find the finish, but... Still, absolutely fantastic there from Cavani. Um, oh, there's another ball from Ganzo. Cavani's in again, should score, and he does, but he's offside. But Gavan uh, Gavanzo? <laughs> that was a mix between Cavani and Ganzo. <laughs> Gavanzo. That's a fucking quality name, that is. I love it. That's a pretty decent name. It it, it just goes. Oh, what a save by Testigan. I thought that was in for sure from Snodgrass. And no, this isn't going to be... <laughs> I bet you some people thought this was going to be an episode like I did with Cavani where I just talked about to Stegen the whole game. But this is the first game I'm really seeing him because I sim the other two games. Or the game that he played in anyway. But yeah, fucking legends for doing that. Keep it up. And uh, if you do, then I will keep this up and making more videos for you guys. Absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that I got 34 likes and I only asked for 20. Absolutely fucking legendary. Um... And yeah, like the first time in a while I asked for 20 and I got more. Hurry up, Wilcott, you prick. You're supposed to be the fastest player in the Premier League and fucking act like it. Get off my pitch. If you're too pussy, then get off. There we go. Slow it down again. Sorry about the lag. Oh, yeah, talking about lag. Uh, the reason, like, a few videos, uh, have, like the last 10 videos, I think two videos have been out of sync. I think one's been completely out of sync. Well, they've not been completely out of sync. I think they've been out of sync from a certain point. And that point's been when Fraps has decided to, f like, crash and fuck up and whatnot. Oh, Walsh goes for the same, but Lee Grant <laughs> reads him this time. But, yeah, uh, that, that happens when Fraps freezes for a second, when the frame rate becomes so low that 
it just stops and uh, that's when it starts to lag so when that happens and it, I know when that happens um, I will stop the recording and start again so it, like I decrease the lag as much as possible so thanks for people pointing that out in the comment section to let me know um, I'll sort that out for the next well for the remainder of my videos <laughs> Will she gets another F on goal uh, that's is that his third and um, unfortunately this one's off target but uh, yeah what else uh, I got them all written down on this piece of paper there were so many I didn't know and it's quite badly organized considering I've got a touch of OCD <laughs> and um, I think I might as well just go for the oh I'll go for the little one um, hold up hold up hold up <laughs> Burnley have a Burnley are getting a getting confident here Let's, they've come into our half they're getting a bit confident oh dear lord they've got a corner oh god <laughs> I think they've discovered the rules of the game. <laughs> well, considering that first 10 minutes, you wouldn't have thought, oh, what a strike! He's hit the bar from there! Well, if that went in, I would have been screaming. I'm not even joking. Okay, yeah. So, also, um, in the description to every video that I'll be putting for Football Manager, you can I'll put a link to a download where you can download this save. Um, I know people have already gone and downloaded that. Last time I checked it was 14 views. So not 14 downloads, but 14 views on that particular file. And it's after the Newcastle game. So when you download it, you'll start right after the Newcastle win. Which I think was like 5-0 or something. Which I'll show you at the end of this. Uh, at the end of this game. But yeah. Oh, Cavani, you beast. Oh, he didn't score. He's got... Oh, unfortunately, he can't score again. But, you know, we're sitting pretty at the moment. So yeah, if you have gone and downloaded that, go and download it. I know one person told me they they downloaded it and bought Goethe, and they said, "Why didn't I do it?" And I I I tried to, I honestly did, but I couldn't. <laughs> so <laughs> props to that dude. Um, calm. Yep. Um, <laughs> that Delafu guy hasn't been able to get into the game, but uh, lack of confidence. We haven't had so much morale recently with the uh, the previous two losses but uh, not the previous two sorry the uh, the two losses in a row against Fulham and Liverpool and morale is a big thing in this game go on Walcott absolutely brilliant Cavani he has another effort on goal he's a I love Cavani he was pr he's probably been my best buy um, <laughs> and for 24 million I can't believe I looked as I was so happy when I saw him for 24 million I was like Let's do it. And then and then they sold Levetti to Chelsea, which I don't get. Well, I'm getting off topic. So, yeah, if you did download that, put in the comments how it's going for you, what you've done. And uh, if you didn't know already, you can go in the description and download it. So, there you go. Ooh. Oh, come on. That had to go in. There were so many ricochets in that. Oh, I thought something was going to be directed to a goal, but it was blocked. Go on, Wilshire. He's becoming a fucking legend at set pieces. There we go. It's gone in, Artemendi. He makes up for his... Well, he doesn't quite make up for his own goal. That own goal was really weird. It looked like he wanted to score that own goal. It was pretty funny. Um, unless Vermaelen tried to clear or something. I wasn't quite looking. I was more focused on the commentary. But yeah. Anyway, let me know about that. And um, we'll, go, we'll, we'll go into a big one. We'll go to a big one. I need to get this quickly. Anyway, new channel. I've got a new channel now. Um, that channel will now be FIFA. Um, if you haven't noticed already, I have... Um, well, you might not know. You won't know this, but I have privated all the videos, so... You might think I might have taken them down. I've privated them. So, um, yeah, I'll probably take them down later. But, whatever. Wow, I thought he was going to play in Wilshire. But Cavani can play in Wilshire. He does it. Goes for goal. And scores another goal. And he is getting two goals a game recently. He's been he's been scoring for fun. He has. Absolutely brilliant Cavani. He should pick up strike. He should be in the team of the year with this performance. Excuse me. But yeah, I have got a new channel. That will be in the description. It's also in my sub box in my channel. I know all of you are mostly subscribed for Football Manager. Mostly told me to keep it on this channel. But it wasn't really getting the response that I wanted. And uh, I met primarily, pri no, primarily came into YouTube wanting to do FIFA. and uh, but, but it hasn't quite worked out. So um, Because it didn't really go to plan. It, hasn't, it has worked out. It hasn't gone to plan because I really wanted to... Hold up, I'm sorting the team. Yeah, we'll keep it at that for now. But uh, it has worked out because I've really enjoyed doing Football Manager. I didn't intend to do this at first, but 
I saw Jub doing it, and obviously he was probably one of the reasons I started, along with uh, Anto Holland. He was the one that made me want to do FIFA videos, and I can do them now because of him. Well, not because of him, but because of myself. But he was m my inspiration at the time. And, uh, yeah, so I'm doing them now. It's on my second channel. Uh, the second channel is called Atmos Cube HD. So there's no 22. It's Atmos Cube HD. It's in the sub box in my channel, and it will be in the description to this video. Uh, so if you want to go check out my FIFA videos on there, um, I've just re-uploaded the three episodes I put on this channel. So uh, you can go up there, watch them again, and uh, new videos on that channel will be coming. So if you could re really appreciate it, if you go over there, subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Um... I assume the only, like, I know I've got 400 subs, but I reckon that, this is my guess, that 30 people are going to uh, sub to that by the time I release the next Football Manager video. That will be what I think is going to happen. But if you, like, can prove me wrong, and, well, a lot of you are interested, well, no, I don't really want you to subscribe, obviously, if you're not going to watch the videos. That would be a little bit pointless, but if you are, then please go over, subscribe, and um, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm going for scratch again um, on that new channel. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get more FM nerds and whatnot in this channel. And uh, more people enjoy watching this on this channel. That'll be absolutely legendary. Try and get to that 500 mark now after I've passed that 400 mark with the help of Rick. And um, he's also got a new channel as well. He had to start his channel again. Well, not start it again, but he had to make a new channel for YouTube or Yaosh, who he's now partnered with to, to partner his channel. So... Um, if you are subscribed to him, uh, don't subscribe to his channel with a thousand subs. He's got another channel called Total Team Talk FQS. Uh, that's also in my sub box, and I'll also put that in the description of this video. Go and subscribe to him again on that channel. That's where all his FM videos will now be uploaded. And uh, he's also got a new series uh, for you gooners out there on uh, Yaosh with with Arsenal. So he's got a Yaosh series with Arsenal. So go check that out. It's on Yaosh Sports at the moment. The first episode is up. He goes through a few of his transfers, and it's... Um, it looks like it's going to be a cracking save. Um, so, yeah, a few things. Um, <laughs> I'm going to save the Fabio Capello talk. I'm going to save that because I've got a big opinion on that and we can have a big, massive discussion. You can put your thoughts in the comments and I will get onto that discussion next video and who I think will get manager and why I hate Harry Redknapp. <laughs> Honestly, I, I will go in depth about that. But, yeah, another thing is quite funny. On this save, Bolton have played 24 games and only got 5 points which made me laugh for about 10 minutes and as you can see my voice is going I'm a little bit ill again so I apologize if you can't if you my voice is like cracking throughout the whole of this video but yeah but they've got 5 points and it made me laugh for like 10 minutes who has 5 points at 23 games that's ridiculous you can't be that shit I'm fo okay, it's football manager, but still, you can't be... It's supposed to be realistic. You can't have five points after 23 games. They are having a bad season, and that is an understatement. But yeah, I know Job put up a realistic video the other day <laughs> where, man, you got four penalties at Old Trafford. That is fucking... That's a legendary piece of uh, evidence right there. That is... Oh, yeah, this has been a fucking brilliant win there. Ab... Absolutely amazing win. Absolutely crazy. Um, and defence. Yeah, boy. Absolutely quality debut from this guy as well. Didn't really have to do much, but uh, <coughs> it's always good to uh, get his morale up high quickly. Look at that, morale's gone all the way up to superb. Absolutely thick. Absolutely brilliant, sorry, and that's exactly what we needed. I'll show you B Bolton and also the Newcastle game for you guys who want to know. So if you do go and download that save now, you will be here, which is quite far away from where I am. Uh, you will be Your next game will be against Cardiff. So if you want to go play that, and I've left... J the reason I did that is because I want to leave January open for you guys to make your transfers and do what you want to do so you can go and do that. Um, I need a glass of water right now. I really do. Quickly look at the Premier League. Bolton, <laughs> 24 games, 5 points. Also, opinions on that. So, in the comments, guys, um, I want you to put your... Okay, <laughs> let's read that. Let's, 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 okay, Walcott, you're alright. Okay, okay. Um, let's, let's, 
Okay, that I, I could have a whole rant about that, and you guys know it because I've been voicing my concerns about his form, and then he has one good game. Okay, let's we'll save that. So to recap, Bolton are shit. Um, <laughs> Fabio Capello quit. Um, you guys are legends for liking that vid liking the shit out of the last video. Please, can you keep that up with this video? Also, um, you can download this Arsenal save. Um, the link will be in the description. Also, Total Team Talk's new channel will be in the description. Go sub to that. That's where all these new videos will be. All my FIFA videos will be on my new channel as well, which is Atmos Cube HD. That will be linked in the description. Um, and that's about it. So let's get on to this. <laughs> Ganzo's agent, Vitor Vieira, would like to open contract talks as a with the club as a result of his client's recent form, and more pointedly, in the wake of his impressive display in the convincing 5-0 English Premier League division victory over Burnley. Ganzo looks completely showed on the ball for Arsenal, and the attacking midfielder can have every reason to be delighted with his performance. The attacking midfielder's accuracy of passing was a contribution factor toward this impressive display. He got one fucking assist. Are you joking? What did he get? What did he get in this game? Arsenal stats, Ganzo goals, where's assists? That's not Ganzo. Ganzo got one assist. Fuck you. Is that that should be assist? I think it is. <laughs> Cuz obviously if someone got 18, yeah, it adds uh, what? Yeah, it adds up to 5. That's assists. That is a brilliant 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 excuse for a new contract. What's he on at the moment? He's on 39... Actually, he's on 39 grand a week. To be fair, that is is not pretty. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to think about this. So, <laughs> come back to me in the next episode while I have my Fabio Capello rant. Also tell you about the result of the Ganzo contract talks. And I'll see you guys at Craven Cut. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Once again, you guys are absolute fucking legends. And I'll see you guys next time. So have a good day.